tomorrow we got PC price index monthly. All right. What does it say? Actual greater than forecast is good for currency. Why is greater than forecast good for currency? Uh, what is this first and foremost? This is basically inflation reading. Uh, I, I don't remember what the PC stands for, but uh, production something. Um, it's the same like a CPI. It says a lot about the inflation. And here's the thing. It's forecast 0 0.2. Let's say it comes out 0 0.2. Three is a little bit small, but let's say 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That's very bad for the U.S. economy. That means that U.S. might increase interest rates. Again, if they increase interest rates, that's why it's good for currency. Because if they increase interest rates, then we know, of course, dollar starts pumping. Because people saw a uh, country starts accumulating dollar, the U.S. dollar. Personal consumption expenditure. Thank you very much, Richard. That's what uh, PC stands for. So... If this one goes up, the U.S. maybe has to start increasing interest rates, which they said they ain't going to do. Why do they have to do that? Because if this one goes up, the uh, U.S. might be heading into a recession. Now, a lot of economists argue that the U.S. is already in a recession. Uh, it's just an artificial non-recession that we are seeing right now. I totally agree. It's impossible to be in such depth levels that the U.S. is in without being in a recession. Here's the thing. There's one thing that always tells if a country is going into a recession or not. And that is, especially the U.S. Let's talk about the U.S. And that is the inverted yield curve. So you have the 10-year treasury bond and you have the three-month treasury bond. Normally, the 10-year treasury bond, the yield should always be higher for that one than for the three-month. That makes total sense. But it has inverted. It actually happened a, a while ago. And always when that happens... It takes about, within a span of 12 months, you will see a recession in the country. It has passed 11 months now. I said within a span of 12 months, not always 12 months. It can be six months. It can be eight months. It has passed 11 months now. And every time, this has been spot on. Every time you see this cur uh, curves uh, inverted, U.S. goes into a recession. So this has been inverted for 11 months. Uh, this means that U.S. should technically be in a recession right now. Looking at the economy, looking at the production, looking at the problems they have with uh, with inflation, and first and foremost with the debt level in the country, the country is it's, it's not only in a recession; it's bankrupt. What I want to say with that is, tomorrow news when they drop, if you see this thing much higher than forecast. Oh my God, you can expect a ma major rally in the market. You can expect dollar starting to pump like crazy because people will start expecting uh, higher interest rates or at least at the interest rates staying where they are. Where people are. Right now, we are expecting the interest rates to pivot, to start to go down. And uh, they're not. If the PCE index drops higher than forecast, then... I don't think they will pivot the interest rates. Quite opposite. Maybe they, maybe they will even increase them. So that will create a major shock, a shock to the market. And you can see a lot of turmoil tomorrow in the markets. So that's that. But we will see. First, first we have to see what numbers come out. All right? Mm -hmm.